Did you do it? I couldn't hear you. I did do it. Uh, okay. Discord probably just didn't. <laughs> Discord just didn't pick it up. Okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello. Uh, I am your host for this evening, Jason Ellis. You're my co-host. Joe Quinn Matthews. And today, uh, we have our 13th episode, which I was thinking about today, and I think it's kind of crazy, to be honest. Like, Why is that so crazy? I don't know. I know the fact that... Like we're this is almost we're coming up on two years almost from our first episode, mm-hmm. which is kind of wild. Like I think it's like March nineteenth I saw, and I don't know. Even though it's been almost two years, thirteen just seems like a very high number. Yeah, like we're f- finally in the teens, you know. For our rate, you know, it, it, yeah, yeah, it is a very high rate. number. <laughs> yeah, uh, but today we have a bit of a I don't want to say different, but. Uh, a change from the norm, I think, for us, because, well, we uh, typically talk about just kind of the nonsense going on in our lives, slash, like, pop culture stuff. Uh, today, we have more of, like, a themed episode, which I kind of, I've been wanting to do in general, like, in terms of themed episodes. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, we've, we've talked about, like, movies and stuff, for like, for a specific episode, and we've had, like, Halloween and Christmas episodes and stuff, Um but yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of wanted to get into some, some deeper themes. Uh, and this is something that I've been kind of thinking about a lot during this kind of quarantine. That's not really even quarantine anymore, but just the pandemic in general, you know, while, while you're just alone in your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and yeah, so today we're talking about uh, personal growth and, and a change. Uh, and I brought this up to Joe Quinn, uh, the other... Like a week, a week ago. Yeah, it was about, a about week doing ago. this. The reason why I kind of brought it up last week was because I was actually going through older episodes, just just uh, just because I had nothing to do one night. I was just kind of bored, mm-hmm. uh, and I was listening to some of them, and and some of them I was listening to what I would say at certain certain parts, and I'd be like, oh, I I said that, or like I I don't agree with that anymore, or whatever. And again, we've. I know we just kind of talked about how two years is kind of long, but at the same time, two years is also a very short span of time Mm -hmm. uh, in the grand scheme of things. And I don't know, I was just like listening to it. I'm like, yeah, that that doesn't represent how I think now or what I would do now. And I don't know, I just thought it was interesting. And I don't know, Joken, have you ever like, have you had that experience perhaps with like, I guess the podcast in general, or I guess anything like whether it's Twitter or tweets and stuff like that, where... Uh, you kind of look back and you're like, oh, I, that's not how I feel now. Yeah. Whatever, if that's a, if that's, if that's a good way to put it. I should also preface that this might be a little bit jumbled, this, this episode. Mm-hmm. So if I'm ever rambling, just let me know. Okay. Well, and, yeah, that's why I'll get, get back on course. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, well, well, it's funny you said that. I remember, uh, I remember one night, a couple months ago, I was scrolling through my Twitter timeline just to like, cause I've been on Twitter for probably seven years now so that, that's a like that's a lot of stuff 
that's a lot of yeah. stuff to have to like sit through and some of it not necessarily that i find like i have like a change of personality uh but in a way it's just like incredibly uh I, I cringe is kind of a cringe word to describe it but cringe is like the <laughs> the best fitting word to describe right. it i'm just i'm reading through some of these like old things i've said uh like basically trying to be funny and mm-hmm. it, it's just, to, uh, it feels like really forced it doesn't it, it's not natural whatsoever it's it, i i feel like i'm definitely more reserved now uh than than i was in the past and i definitely do have some like different viewpoints than i did in the past i feel like mm-hmm. i've evolved to be more of an open kind of person uh than i was before uh just i've done like a lot of growing up since then as for like listening to previous episodes of the Potato Cast, I every once in a while, you know, I'll uh, I'll I'll try to listen to maybe like I don't know, ten to fifteen minutes, depending on like if I'm trying to get myself in like the mood, I'll I'll listen to a little bit just to like hear where I was, and it was it's uh, the earliest episodes are kind of really hard to go back to because like we we were just kind of not doing much of anything in terms of editing and that's completely my fault right 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 right. uh so yeah so in terms of like the podcast changing i feel like we've certainly gotten better like the past couple of months probably show uh like a biggest change um Hmm. but yeah so uh, to answer your question yes i would say i i've i've done that (laughs) right 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 and I think for most people probably listening, I'm sure not not necessarily going back and listening to yourself in a podcast and uh, and right. thinking though I'm, I'm different, but in general, uh, I would hope you know many people they they go on uh, with their lives and they and they they grow and change and then they look back on stuff and mm-hmm. they they're like oh that's I wouldn't do that now uh, and sort of I guess the first thing I want to talk about in regards to that is uh, just the idea I guess of regret. Because I feel like a, that's just kind of a natural thing. Uh, it's the yeah. natural step from growth. Right. Uh, to look back and see the mistakes you've done in the past to, you know, better yourself as a person. It's it's good that you can recognize certain mistakes. Even if right. other people don't find them to be mistakes, it's still good to, like, recollect on yourself and, you know, make decisions that you want to, you know, based on your past and, you know, on your future, too, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've, I've mentioned this on the podcast in passing before. And I feel like I'm going to say that a bunch of times because I will also bring up some of those examples of stuff that I've said on the podcast where I'm like, oh, I, I don't know why I said that. but Or I know why I said it, but I wouldn't say now. Uh, but, I, but yeah, I've said this on the podcast before where uh, I try to live my life without regrets. And I think... What I said in that episode, actually, I'm blanking. What what did I say? Well, what episode uh, are you talking about? I feel like it was. I, I want to say it was episode nine. Episode nine? I don't know. But, but what I'm going to say is, I, I don't disagree with what I said. I still kind of stand by what I said when it comes to regrets. Uh, but base, but yeah, but, but my basic philosophy, I guess, with the, with regrets and not wanting to have them, is everything that I've done has gotten me to where i am right now mm-hmm. uh and i wrote this down uh actually let me grab it on my notes i wrote this down new year's eve because i'm not a big like new year's resolutions guy where i have like an actual goal for myself set to do mm-hmm. that year uh i'm also not a huge fan of like people are like new year new me or whatever right because uh, <laughs> it's just another it's just another day but i did write down on new year's eve okay uh, I did write down some stuff that I just wanted to be more cognizant of in 2021. and But one of them kind of has to do with the whole regrets thing. And so I wrote this down so I could kind of read it back to myself in the future if I forget. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I basically just put down, uh, there are no missteps, just the path that you're carving for yourself. Uh, you're where you're supposed to be. Everything, the good, the bad, the exhilaration, the discomfort 
are all building blocks to where you are slash will be. And basically what that what I was what that means, if it, if it isn't already obvious, is just that like everything is it just builds to where you are. And so uh almost like the almost like the butterfly effect almost. Mm-hmm. Uh and it was funny because we we were planning on doing this for a week this episode. Uh and I was just thinking about it this morning. I was I was also watching Twitch and a streamer that I watched uh, the butterfly effect came up in the stream and they talked about how like there was like a co- they did a coin flip in high school which led to them taking a class which led to them meeting their boyfriend which led to them going to a certain school which led to them joining a club which led to them meeting a guy and living with him and led to them playing video games which led to them becoming a streamer and to where they are now where they like have a fiance and like they have a relatively good life I mean obviously everything is not they don't show everything to the public but everything kind of led to where they are now and while necessarily none of those things were bad things that they did Mm -hmm. uh there were definitely no no doubt about it like mistakes that they've made along the way and while they may look back on that and think like oh i wish i didn't do that if they didn't do that they wouldn't be where they are now and that's kind of what i try to think so while i've said stuff on the podcast that i look back on and i go oh why did i say that at the same time, I don't know, I, I'm like, well, because I said that on the podcast, this happened, and then this happened, or, and, and now I'm here, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I don't know, that's my f- philosophy, I guess, on regrets and like... Well, well, let me ask you this. When you texted me, it kind of sounded like you had some like specific regrets you maybe wanted to go to, uh, go, uh, go and talk about. Uh, what, what, if any regrets do you necessarily have, uh, like whether it's about like, you know, your life or just show in general? Sure. Yeah. We can, we can jump, we can jump into that. Uh, and again, I wouldn't call them regrets. Uh, Well, I, I think it's, I'm a, I'm a human. So even though I say that I try to live my life without regrets, there are times where I guess, I do like think like oh I wish I didn't say that and then I have to kind of think about it and be like oh well that's fine mm-hmm. uh, I I said what I said I learned from it I'd rather just be happy that I did it and I got something out of it which was a learning experience rather than lament on it and just be upset at myself mm-hmm. uh, but I guess like an example of one thing that we kind of did these these are actually two points that were in the the episode with Taz and Zach. Uh, mm, okay. Great episode! If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Episode four, no, episode five. Yeah, episode uh, four was with, with Deep Red uh, Friends, Joe Taz and Zach. Mm-hmm. Uh, there were two instances where I looked back and I'm like, oh, I sh- oh why did I do that? Uh, one of them was when we basically, for the most part, kind of made fun of this one kid for like have for just having like a like a Skylanders party and just talking about how like he would have like temper tantrums in class and like laughing about it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I look at that and I'm like, that's just kind of like distasteful. (laughs) Like, like we're just making fun of a kid on the, we did blank out his name, but still could be seen as mean. It's not even that it could be, it's not that I'm not worried about people seeing that it's mean. I just personally am like, what did that kid do to deserve us? Like laughing at him and stuff like that. He didn't, he had, he did nothing bad to me. It wasn't like he like punched me in the face and I wanted to get some like retaliation against or something like that. Mm -hmm. There's literally, I did nothing that he's done nothing wrong to me. So why do I have to bring him up? Even though we bleeped out his name uh, in a podcast and like laugh at him and stuff like that. Uh, and another one was like when I brought up like the other just general rappers in Wareham and saying like how bad they were. Mm. And well, that, yeah, I <laughs> you, did have you know, that opinion. You know, uh, I didn't. I didn't necessarily have to go on the podcast. And I know we they did kind of go into the fact that we were interviewing rappers from Wareham, and I was talking about how I think they're the they're some of the best to come out of Wareham. Uh, what I do stand by, but but still, just the fact that I had to say a couple times, like, yeah, everybody else, all the other people that try to be rappers and wear him are so bad or whatever, like that. There's no, there's no need for that, you know. That's just kind of like, why do I have to? Why do I have to say that? I can, if I want to, like joke about the other rappers with them, I can do that off off stream. I don't need to, you know, do that during a recording or whatever. And just aired that out on the internet. 
and again, these aren't like terribly heinous things. I, you know, I didn't commit like a hate crime or anything no, on the podcast. No, right. <laughs> uh, but it's just it's just stuff that I I would look at and go like, oh, that probably shouldn't have been on the podcast. But again, I don't necessarily re- regret it. I suppose I it's more so stuff where I'm like, that was a bit distasteful. Uh, I I'm not gonna do that in the future. I know better now, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's kind of the best you can do. And there's been other times though where I still wouldn't say I regret these things, but I have gone to like where I, I've done a similar thing to what you said, where I've gone down like my Twitter and stuff before, and like uh, I we'll, I'm, we'll get into politics a little bit in, in a little bit because that is another thing. Uh, but I remember like I would tweet stuff, uh, especially like in like 2015, early 2016 during like the primaries or whatever. And like when Bernie Sanders was still running and stuff like that and all my family are conservative. We'll get, again, we'll get more into it later, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, but one of the, but I just kind of had, you know, Bernie Sanders bad bash into my head and I would tweet stuff like Bernie Sanders is going to ruin America or like, just the Democratic Party's gonna ruin America right. and stuff like that. Right. And so I have gone through and like deleted stuff like that <laughs> off my Twitter, just because I don't like. That's just not something that I believe anymore. Right. Uh, there's even been something uh, that I did, not super recently, but somewhat recently, where I actually deleted, like I went into the YouTube editor and edited out a certain part of a podcast episode, which. I won't say what I edited out, but if you can figure it out, I don't know. I'll email someone a cookie or email. I'll, email put an, I'll, cookie. I'll, FedEx, I'll FedEx you a cookie or something like that. I don't mm-hmm. know. Put it in the comments if you can find it. Uh, okay. What if I find which, it? Which it is. Again, you know, it, isn't, it isn't like because I'm like, oh, uh, I wish I didn't say that. It's more so like like it's it's already been on the internet people that have saw it have seen it have saw it i don't really care that they already saw it but do i need necessarily more eyes to see it you know right <laughs> and right. so I, I i would go through and like delete a couple of things but yeah yeah the task stuff or not the not the task stuff but the stuff in the episode with taz and zach that mm-hmm. that was some stuff that like i would that kind of made me want to talk about this uh and yeah and then other stuff was definitely like when we talk about politics on the podcast Mm -hmm. because that really was the because i feel like politics or at least my views in politics in general is the thing that kind of shows me like how much i've changed the most uh and this is another thing that we've talked about in passing on the podcast a couple times but uh i guess like i'll say it again uh in high school and i guess pre-high school as well uh I was like I would probably I would consider myself conservative. Uh, all my family members are, and I I wrote <laughs> I wrote out the other night, uh, like almost like a uh, like a spark notes of my of my political ideals or ideas or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, age one through eight, absolutely no political opinions. <laughs> I have one vague memory of like a like a George Bush debate being played on the TV in my room, like my sister watching it. And other than that, nope, no, nope, I don't even know what the fuck politics are. <laughs> uh, then I put like eight through like 15, uh, my family were conservative. And so I guess that made me conservative. Like I didn't really know what it all meant, but I just knew that like, I don't know, my parents didn't, didn't want Obama to win. <laughs> like that was the, the <laughs> most that I kind of knew. Right. Uh, and then like I wrote like 15 through like 17, uh, I wrote, I am a Republican, Democrats are ruining America, are ruining America, <laughs> which was like, I-, I was just kind of with most of my family members being conservative. I just kind of had an echo chamber of like Sean Hannity and Howie Carr talking points just going yeah. in both of my oh, years. God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so like everything that I knew about politics was basically just from my family members, you know, even like when I, cause like I, mo- a lot of my friends, actually I'd say probably all, if not most of my friends or most, if not all of my friends uh, are liberal slash like left leaning. But when we would hang out, we just wouldn't talk about politics or anything like that. Mm-hmm. You know, 
that just wasn't something we would do we would just talk, make fucking fart jokes or whatever uh and so but yeah so all like my like political intake was just from like family members and stuff like that uh and I, I said this on the podcast, like I, well, I, well, I didn't, well, I wouldn't cons- ever consider myself like a, like pro Trumper at that time <laughs> when it came down to like Hillary and Trump, uh, in like high school during that 2016 yep. election, yep. I was, you know, I advocated for Trump. I believe more so just more what I believe in high school, um, because you know, we had, we didn't have a lot of classes together, but we basically had, uh, like, a study period together. We called it advisory. I believe during mm-hmm. some of those advisories, uh, me and you would have conversations about Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton. You and me would have conversations in Wilson's class about Trump. Was it also in Wilson's class? Cause I, yeah, that, cause that, that was, was the that year, was, too, that the election was. Well, the, uh, that was, like, that was already, like, past it. Or did we... No. Or I guess it was coming up on the election, I suppose, because it was 2016, 2017 right. was that year. So right. it was like it was like we started in September. But yeah, we probably did talk a little bit about it before it too. Yeah, I just I, I distinctly I don't remember much of I don't remember much of those conversations because it was you know almost four or five years ago. Yeah, but I do distinctly remember having those conversations. Mm-hmm. It, so yeah, me too, me too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For the record, during the 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 Republican like convent not convention like the the primary race, I was a Kasich guy, and then it just happened to be Donald Trump that won, and I was like, okay, fuck it, I guess I'll oh, support this dude. Wait, weren't you uh, also um, you were a third party for a little bit, or at least you were. Oh, we're getting to that. We're getting. To oh, that. okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Uh, but yeah, but I thought you know, in that in like the the that time period, I thought. Socialism equal communism and communism equals like death to freedom or yeah. whatever, you know. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so that was that. And then once Trump won and then he wasn't a very good president, I was like, ah, you know, I kind of started to kind of see things. Uh, and then I, I'd say from 18 to 19, and this is also, there were during like the first kind of episodes of the potato cast. And this was, this is one of the examples uh, in, uh, the episode with Jojo, but I, I put, uh, I am libertarian. So basically Republican, but not quote unquote bigoted. Uh, and yeah, so I, I remember re- re- listening to that one where we, we talked about like the, uh, re- democratic like race a little bit. Cause that was when like the field, like the first field of like democratic, like nominees popped up for the, this, this recent election. Uh, and I remember saying that I was like more libertarian and I still said that I don't like Bernie Sanders and I don't like socialism. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was like, wow, that was like, I, I, I thought that was like, that ended at like my senior year, but that still went on a little bit longer than that. Uh, Cause that was only a few months. That was like maybe like f- five, six months before I moved down to Florida. Was that episode? Yeah. At least when it came out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, yeah, and the main reason why like I was libertarian, honestly, was because Ron Swanson in Parks and Recreation was libertarian, and he's one of my favorite no, characters in the go, show. Oh come on, he's a, he's you're a great joking. guy, Ron Swanson. You're, you're joking though. Right? No, you're well, being... no, I shouldn't say. I wouldn't say. I, I know. Okay, well, it's not because I wanted to be like Ron Swanson. It was more so like when he would explain like his stuff in the show. He was just such a badass in the show and he's still a badass. I love the Ron Swanson character. But it was more, but that made me look into libertarian, like libertarians and stuff. And that would make, as long as you looked into it and you weren't just like like, immediately. I I looked into like the Gary Johnson's views. And like I said, in that episode, I was like, Oh, I believe I I, like agree with 99% of Gary Johnson's uh, views. And I, I wouldn't say that now, but have you, Oh, have you ever seen like a libertarian like debate? The only on, they're on YouTube. <laughs> okay, all right. The it o- is so funny. I've only seen like a, a little snippet of the 2016 <laughs> debate, and I think I know why you're laughing because like the, you're talking about like the driver's license, right? They're all fucking yeah. Well, <laughs> that is that is a talking point from that debate. It's yeah. so fucking funny. <laughs> they're all fucking like Gary Johnson's the one guy. He's the one Ooh. like sane person on that panel. 
Yeah, he's like, well, do I you... think you should show that you're qualified to drive a car, and they all boo him up. What's <laughs> next? A license to operate your own damn toaster? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, I, when I first saw the clips of it, because that was, that was, I probably saw that for the first time maybe six months ago. Mm-hmm. When I first, when I saw clips of it, I thought it was a fucking, like, joke, well, I thought right? it was a spoof. And yeah. then I saw Gary Johnson on stage, and I was like, this is a real debate? Oh, my God. No. Yeah, it's not, uh, a, it's not a good look. It's really funny. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, and then now I would say, like, my 20 to, to 21, uh, I kind of have, like, the uh, fuck politics anarchy don't trust a politician but i but i will say i'm more so on the, the left-leaning side in general yeah i don't actually think and i don't actually want anarchy but me and my friend trigger joke about how we, we just uh are anarchists mm-hmm. we're not actually anarchists though uh and and yeah so it, it was was interesting to hear me talk about being like a libertarian stuff on the podcast and just me now not considering myself a libertarian mm-hmm. and definitely more left than right leaning and i look back on high school and i think i also might have mentioned this in an episode and if i didn't oh well i'm gonna mention her now uh i don't know if i had you on snapchat back in the day but um so my dad bought me a trump shirt as a, it was it was admittedly a joke my dad isn't a huge trump fan either mm-hmm. uh he, he was more so just like well he's the republican candidate so i guess i'll you know i'll vote for him over the democratic candidate yeah um but he but he got me as a, a trump shirt as a joke uh i brought to school a couple times and had like courtney wear it as a joke <laughs> uh but there but i was i remember during like the election night i did at that time want trump to win and so i was just wearing the shirt kind of as a joke too and after he won, I remember taking a picture of me in the shirt and putting it on my Snapchat Ooh. story. And I remember I, t- I remember I told this to my friend Mia, like not recently, but like a few months ago, I told her about this story. Uh, and she was like, you better hope nobody like, and not like as like a joke, but kind of being serious. Like, you better hope nobody like screenshot at that. And I was like, why the fuck do I care if somebody screenshot at it? Because in my mind, it's like, that's not who I am now. Right. I don't like, I don't give a fuck. I... The thing but at, but then at the same time I do get it though just the general perception I guess of I don't know the, the thing to me the thing to me is when it, when it comes when it comes to Trump when it comes to the 2016 campaign mm. he, he was it was a very it was a very masterful campaign anybody anybody either side of the aisle will tell you that there was just right, like right. a lot of things going for him and the people wanted to mix up I don't fault anybody not not, not that I don't absolutely hate trump I'll, I'll i'll be the first one to i'll be the first one to say it. i i despise yeah, that I, man if you go on my twitter now you know how much i dislike the man right right but back in 2016 when the election was happening i i do i do not fault anybody for you know voting for trump and being yeah. supportive that he won uh mm-hmm. so i, I don't think he, right yeah i don't think First of all, I don't really believe that cancer culture is like a it's like a real thing, but mm. I, uh, as the term everybody says, I don't think you you anybody should be canceled for supporting Trump in 2016, especially you know if you've like changed your mind about a, like a lot of things, which you have obviously, uh, but even even if you still had like some of those viewpoints, I don't think that's necessarily grounds to, you know. For our, for example, our friendship to, you know, be ruined just because, like, we have different political views, like, but I could definitely see, right. I could definitely, I, I'm, I'm glad that, like, that, that you've grown, not that it's a bad thing that you had those views, but, like, it's... Right, and that's kind of, that's kind of why I'm bringing it up also with the general, th- like, theme of the episode right. is that I do think, because I see, you know, you see, uh... I don't know. I don't have a specific example on, uh, like, off the top of my head. But but you, you do see people online where they do bring up like, even like recently, I guess. Like this is this is a much larger scale thing. But like for example, J- Joe Biden when he was running and stuff, people brought up like stuff that he talked about. You know, in like I don't know the seventies or I don't know I don't know when he's running when he was in, when he first started office or whatever in the Senate seventies eighties I don't know right. when he was like. I th- what, what was he pro segregation or something like that or something yeah. weird like yeah. uh 
but that's kind of that is a bit of like a more extreme example i guess but but that 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 shit happened i don't know how many years ago <laughs> like like fucking uh, a, a decently 40, long 40, chunk of 40 time. plus years ago right that had, like and people would bring it up or whatever which I, I don't think it's i don't think it should be ignored per se but i do think that like i think it's kind of crazy to judge somebody based on stuff that they said or did 40 years ago right like i i look back at how i felt two years ago Mm -hmm. and i'm I'm very different in terms of like politics and stuff like that uh and yeah that that was kind of one of the reasons why i wanted to just in general bring it up Mm -hmm. because i was like thinking i was like if somebody just like listened to this episode and they didn't really know me and they just heard me say like i'm a libertarian they would have like certain i guess like ideas already thought up about who i am now i mean and realistically and i was still thinking about this today realistically everything that we say or i guess i guess and people in general say should technically be like say i give my opinion on something say i think uh wandavision is a bad show which How i don't you. you might talk and we'll talk about that uh in another episode coming mm-hmm. up soon mm-hmm. but say say i think wandavision is a bad show really you should be taking it as me saying right now i think wandavision is a bad show but in the future, who knows? Maybe I turns out that I love WandaVision. Mm-hmm. I do, in fact, really like WandaVision. But uh, where was I going with this? <laughs> but yeah, you're, yeah, you're just I, saying I that think, people can grow, and yeah, that do, we shouldn't yeah. be we shouldn't be so harsh to just jump on to like the opinion bandwagon. Uh, and a large part of it, I think, is like people lack context for a lot of stuff. It's like with that, mm-hmm. especially with that, like Joe Biden quote you were talking about, without the context that that was 40 years ago and that people can change, it, it does like change your perception of some people. So I think, you know, context is like a big, a, a big portion of, of, of change, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's not, I didn't really word that too well, but I think, I, I think you know what I mean. Yeah, it is important to have that context. When I mean, you don't, things can obviously get taken out of out of context. <laughs> that right, worst sentence I've ever spoken in my life. <laughs> uh, like, it, it, for very, example, if someone did happen to take a screenshot of you in that Trump shirt that you posted on Snapchat, and were, yeah, and were to post that out of context, you know, mm-hmm. maybe people would want to disassociate themselves with you. Yeah. But, right, 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 right. But when you inf- when you include that context and you know shown how you've like grown as a person and you don't necessarily agree with those viewpoints that you had in the past, mm-hmm. then you know it, it tell it basically tells a whole different story of yourself and your journey. Right, right, right. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So I've had that moment on in that episode. I even had a, a moment like that listening to a recent episode, uh, episode nine with with Emma when we talked about the joe biden or the election in general and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and we talked about joe biden uh and i kept calling him like a fucking idiot and stuff like that in the episode and and that was all kind of based on random out of context quotes from like debates and stuff like that right uh and well i do well i still don't think he was my first choice for a candidate by any means uh i don't necessarily agree with everything that i said in that episode where i don't necessarily necessarily think that he's a dumbass like an idiot i think he's much smarter politically than i am i also don't think he's just gonna i I think i i called him like he's just gonna be like a figurehead like the queen of england and who knows i don't know maybe he will be but it seems like he's uh you know doing he's he's doing he's doing stuff yeah he's done a pretty decently large amount of stuff Uh, it's kind of impressive right so that kind of came out of uh i don't know ignorance i guess yeah talking about that and you know that's fine did you uh change your opinion from episode 12 that batman vs superman is good uh, I always had that opinion. What are you mm, talking about? Ooh. Or, wait, do you, or are you saying that I no longer think that it's good? Right, you know, because because you've grown so much. No, no, I, that that is still something that I uh, firmly believe in. Oh, uh, all right, okay, yeah. all right, 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 right. <clears throat> and and yeah, so I don't I don't well, know a great, I don't know a great transition okay, from this while, into another, into another uh, topic. All right, while while you're uh, contemplating over there, Miss Peabody. Uh, Potato fact, please. Thank you for saving me, Miss Peabody. Potatoes are vegetables, but they contain a lot of starch, carbohydrates, then make them more like rice, pasta, and bread in terms of nutrition. Thank you, Miss Peabody. 
That was a terrific fact. We are quickly running out of them. We, we might have something lined up. Yeah. We'll, we'll a, te- a temporary lineup, but... Yeah, right, 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 right. But yeah, I guess basically just to sort of like close things up, uh, or start to close things up, is just like... Just the idea, I guess, of bettering yourself. You know, I think you should always... You should always be like looking... <laughs> you should always... <laughs> I, I see I'm trying to come up with the words but like I'm kind of at a loss right now yeah uh but but basically what I'm trying to say is that like <laughs> see I know no here's the thing I know what I'm trying to say let me let I me, just can't come with the actual words let me basically get, I, let me get my message out yeah get, let me, get your message. always look for uh, always out. look towards like bettering yourself uh because you know you can do better and right you, you can base your past uh, uh, you can base your future off your past. Just always keep in the back of your mind uh, an outlook of like bettering yourself, even if it's not like uh, even if it's not mentally with like changing your views on certain things. You it applies to all steps of life. You should probably uh, better yourself physically if you feel weak or tired or just not happy with like basically your looks or whatnot, your, your weight, just. You can always take that step to bettering yourself some way, somehow. Yeah, that was kind of what I was trying to say. I was more so trying to say, like, to always kind of retrospectively be looking, like, at what you do and, like, what you, I don't know, I guess, say. uh, And to always kind of be, like, keeping an open mind of, like, was that good? Or not when I say good, I don't mean, like, did you do a good job at something, but more so, like, was it was I being a good person here, right. or was this like, was this a person that I want to be, uh, and and yeah, and to and to possibly look into going with kind of my philosophy, and to rather than to like regret things, I think you should more so just try to learn from things. You know, mm-hmm. if you like post an embarrassing picture or whatever of yourself number one who, the number one i should also clarify this thing if like because a lot of times regret typically comes from at least in my experience like you're worried what other people are gonna think of you you know yeah. it's less so less so like oh i'm mad at myself because i don't like it because i feel like i don't know you, you and on the inside you kind of know that you, you're a different person or whatever but you're more so i feel like concerned like what it will other people say but for the most part, like, I find that most people don't remember a lot of the stuff that you do. <laughs> like, the stuff that you, like, are getting, like, hung up on, most likely other people will not, like, remember it. Yeah. But, like, but but even if, like, they do, though, like, I don't know, you should, I still think you should just m- go into things more so with the idea of, like, if you look back and you post an embarrassing picture rather than getting hung up, hung up on it, think, okay, well this is a mistake on my part for posting this in the first place, but I now know better to not post something like this, I guess, in the future. You're right. Or, you know, if you made fun of some, if you were, I don't know, if you were a bully in high school, I'm not saying I was a bully in high school. If anything, I got bullied in high school. But Mm. if you were a bully in high school, when you look back on that and you're like, ah, I regret doing that. You should more so just be like, well, I was a bad person then. All I can do now is just like better myself and act like a, and be a good person to people and to to respect other people mm-hmm. or whatever you know it, it doesn't really do any good to just sit there and wallow in your own like regret so so yeah don't regret regret <laughs> that's, <laughs> oh, that's oh god that was just no offense, but that was kind of really... Oh, my God. I thought that was a, I thought that was a great one. I thought that was uh, a great that was, line. That was really cheesy, my dude. Oh, God. My dude is uh, also kind of cheesy, so I'm right there with you. I'm regretting great, uh, yeah, that. I was going to say, now I regret saying I saying don't regret your regrets. Now I'm going to... Oh, uh, you're fine. I'm going to look I'm gonna look back on this and I'm gonna be like, why the fuck did I say that? That's the worst line I could have said. Well, you're not going to... No. You're not no, going to okay. regret... The regret of feeling that you're you're gonna regret well, saying it, but not regret. I'm gonna regret the regret, the regret of regretting it, of saying I regret, uh, not regretting that I regret. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm getting at. Yeah, 
I don't know if all those regrets cancel each other out, but you know. Yeah, like, my well, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's the you well, know how the, like two negatives, right? No, that, that's what that's two what, negatives make a positive. That's what uh, that's what my uh, thought pro- uh, thought process behind it is. Mm-hmm. So I'll have to count that in post. How many regrets you said? Yeah, if it's an even number, we're good. If it's odd, then uh oh, <laughs> that's seven years bad luck, you know. Ooh. Uh, Rained and yeah, so I guess, I guess that's kind of it. Again, it was, it was this was a bit jumbled. I, I don't know if you ever do this, Joe Quinn, but a lot of the times, like before an episode, if there's something I really want to talk about. I'll like just talk about it to like myself, like in the not not necessarily in the mirror, but just like I'll just pace it. I'll just pace in my living room, and like just talk about it, like I just out loud, and uh, it'll come together beautifully. No, and then I'll sit down, and then I'll sit down, and then I'll try to say what I just said, and I'll be like, I'll forget what I was even talking about in the I, first place. I do something maybe sort of similar to that, just to, uh, instead of playing it out by walking by myself in my living room. Uh, I, I just like I, I kind of pace through co- fake conversations through my head, uh, with like mm. you or whatever guest we have on, because I feel mm-hmm. like uh, for, with you I definitely get like a decent, decently good idea of what you're uh, what you're going to say. Uh, oh, can, you read me like a book? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, maybe, I'm maybe. Although, although I will say, uh, I I am shocked. I am absolutely shocked that you didn't name drop uh, episode four. Because I feel like that was the the biggest political discussion. We I did. I that's when I talked about being a, a libertarian. That was episode nine. You said no. That was no. That was episode four. Are you? Sh- episode nine was the Joe Biden thing. Ooh. Episode four was talking to JoJo about politics. I, I mentioned that. Go back and listen to it, Joe. <laughs> Go back. And I, I'll to it. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, I, I maybe maybe I'm confused. Maybe maybe I'm gonna regret this. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> that joke's getting beaten into the into the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, no. A lot of times I find like I have this beautiful conversation played out in my head, and then I get come on here and it's so jumbled. So, but I hope somebody maybe got something out of it. It's just something that I've that's been on my mind in general, just personal mm-hmm. growth and change and stuff. And I think it's an important part. Of us as humans, right, is to continually grow and change and to become better people, mm-hmm. and to be aware that you will look back on who you were and not be pleased with it, but that's fine. Yeah, because it got you to where you are now. Yeah, pretty much. Could have said it better uh, myself. See, that was a much better line to end. There on. you go. Okay. Uh, and well, with that being said, thank you for everyone uh, who's who listened for tuning in um let me check how long we went about 40 oh, okay minutes. we still yeah Maybe that's not, that's that's a relatively short that's might be the shortest episode we've done this is the shortest episode we've done by far yeah uh so nice hopefully success. that like, hopefully that means more viewer retention hopefully you guys didn't get bored and clicked off like <laughs> some of the other ones we see them analytics we know what you're up to yep uh and, but yeah, and, so and uh, hit subscribe while you're at it by the way yeah, like, subscribe, check out all the links in the bot in the description. Smack that but if bell. But if you don't want to click on any of the links and you just want to, I don't know, do extra work and type it out yourself, joking, where can people find you? Jason, people can find me pretty much anywhere they look. I'm always there. Mm-hmm. Just uh, just just Google Twelve Star. You'll you'll find something. I'm uh, I'm working working on this big project. I'm only saying this now because uh, depending on when this episode comes out and then when the next episode comes out, I kind of want people to know I'm working on this big project. I'm currently in the midst of writing for it, and hopefully that'll come out soon for all you to see. Jason. Yes. Uh, yes, we, I'm still. I'm at Capus Fifty Six. I literally came. I came very close oh, to changing it this week. Oh, oh wait, but I went to change it, and the thing I was going to change it to was taken. Oh well, you could. I guess you can say what you were going to change it to if it was if it was taken. Then, if you want to plug, if you want to plug that guy, I think it was just JPE. Oh, that's that's neat. That's short. Concise. But I looked it up. But I yeah, because Jason Paul Ellis. I because I looked it up. And when I looked it up on Instagram and t- both Twitter, nothing came up with that exact thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I found one. And this is, I can't let this one go because I have a couple, I listed some other usernames and stuff uh, that I'm not huge on, but they, they'll, they'll suffice. 
but I was like, this is a good, this is, this is my initials. This is easy. It's simple, <laughs> sweet. I got to get, I got to jump on this now. And I was like, but I wasn't sure about the Instagram one. So I did, I tried to do Instagram first. Uh, and I went to do it and I was like, this is already taken or something like that. That Phil might not sticks. have been the one. It might have been something else. <laughs> but but no, it's still Capu 66. Uh, I say I'll change it every week. We'll, we'll work on it. For a few months. And who we'll, knows if that will happen. Me, but, me, me and you will workshop it. We'll workshop it. Sure, yeah. And that's uh, that's where you can find me. The podcast is at Cast Potato on Twitter. Mm-hmm. We tweet every once in a while on there. Yeah. Uh, uh, it also updates on episodes and stuff like that. Lots of cool stuff there. Obviously, the YouTube. If you're here, you, you already know. Yep. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye.